Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I'm exploring Millennium Park, which of course includes the Cloud Gate right over there, here in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> oh. That is right, you guys. I'm planning on taking us through a little walking tour through Millennium Park, which of course includes the Cloud Gate, which is a very popular attraction here in this city. So if you guys are interested, come with me. Before anything, I don't think I have to clarify that this place is so popular. I mean, you can see the quantities of people coming and going. This is a very popular attraction to take pictures here. Even if you just have a little bit of time in the city, you've got to come to Millennium Park to check out the Cloud Gate. Another name for the Cloud Gate is actually the bean. And I mean, I think we can all see why. It looks sort of like a kidney bean. You can see the shape. A lot of people just refer to it as the bean. And it's the easiest thing to remember, right? Even if you're in Google Maps trying to find this place, and you don't know the name you can just type the bean and this place will show up the sculpture is made out of stainless steel at least the outside is that's why it gives it this very shiny look let's get a little bit closer hello it looks like one of those 360 degree angle cameras like the warping that's going on kind of cool and if we keep walking around it you can catch more cool and interesting angles of the reflections uh, on the sculpture which I think is pretty cool look you can take amazing pictures so we just got to the midsection of the sculpture as you can see in all its glory we're right at the middle and one cool thing about this place is that you can actually go under and through it you can see a lot of people there and I've heard that there's even more weird distortion and warping that happens inside of it. So you, we can go check it out. Uh, I can already see it kind of from the distance. You can see it right there. It kind of gets dark a little bit, so it's hard to see. Maybe I'll show you this angle over here. The reflection of people on the ceiling. It's neat. Again, a good opportunity to take some very cool and interesting pictures. Let's see the other side. And there I am right over there it looks like i'm so far away and it's funny how you can hear people just like wowing and like wow this is so cool like i can't believe it it's it's really funny but it does like when you're in person it does give you that like vibe if especially if you've never seen it before it's a very cool experience i think it's so cool how art displays like this one become so iconic that they blend into the identity of a city i think that's what happened with the bean right here it was actually finished in 2006 so not like relatively not a long time ago and it it's now become like such a like staple of the city like i'm from texas and i couldn't think of chicago without thinking about the bean so that should tell you something another angle on this side check it out that's me so many people over on this side and the skyline on the other. A very wide view of the city from this point. I think we're done checking out uh, the Cloud Gate right here. Um, this is not uh, the end of the video. I still have a few other places that I would like to check out here in Millennium Park that I've actually never been to. When I've been to Chicago, I've been there three times. Uh, this is my third time. I've never checked out anything else besides uh, the Cloud Gate, which is kind of funny. I have a list of places that I want to show you and that I want to experience for the first time so let's go so the first place in the list of places I've never visited within Millennium Park is Millennium Monument which is right in front of us it kind of reminds me of one of those uh, very old Greek structures right from the past this uh, monument is in honor of the founders of Millennium Park so this has the names of the different founders written uh, on them right there's a little plaque over there there's the fountain which is 
dry at the moment as you can see i'm not gonna lie you guys this place is kind of lonely especially when you compare it to the cloud gate which is like the next big monument uh, next to it so uh yeah <laughs> Very lonely, but very cool if you want to check out the different uh, places to see here in Millennium Park. Let's go to the next one. So the next location that I want to show you is very interesting to say the least. I honestly didn't know how to explain this myself. So I'm just going to use a, a definition or explanation that I saw online. Okay, so this right here, you guys, that sculpture over there and that one over there make up what is called crown fountain they're a big sculpture right with a pair of led towers right so these are led towers and they project like the face of a person see like that's one person that's another person and they usually change like after a few minutes last time i i was looking at a kid in, on that one so these things are pretty huge right <laughs> you can see the people there looking very tiny and uh, one of the one of the weird things, right, about it, uh, like when you hear the name, right, Crown Fountain, right, and it's like, what? Where's the fountain part? Like, I don't get it. But actually, you see, like, there's like a little section in the mouth of the person, right, right there. And I don't know if you can tell, but I think you can. It's right there. They actually squirt water so yeah those things are the fountain and it's sort of like a play place for kids so you know how i don't know if, if you're familiar with this but there's like community not pools but like water parks i guess where people play like in water there's like sprinklers and things there's fountains where they can get in and stuff this is what this is supposed to to be so could you imagine like just seeing kids and and you see like right now you cannot see anything it's changing right so there's a new person right there there's a new one right there so this is me and this is how it looks compared to my tiny self you can see the, the size difference i am so interested to know and explore more what these are all about because it's just so bizarre to me but i guess it's art and uh, I know nothing about it. You can see the little uh, like circle here that I was telling you about. This is where the water comes out. So it is like like they're spitting, which is like the weirdest thing to me. And, and right now it's changing again. Check it out. Let's see what appears on here. Who's that Pokemon? Whoa, there it is. And now this one has changed as well to this bearded fellow. He seems to be happy to be part of this exhibition. Good for him. So we made it to one of these little maps that are around the park. We are right here and right next to this section is the J Pritzker Pavilion. That is what I want to show you next. All right, you guys. So I just made it here to the very back of the pavilion. As you can see, it's all the way over there. And this green space right here is what uh, we saw in the map uh, referred to as the Great Lawn. So this is where people um, I guess sit down or lay down to uh, watch their favorite artists or musical event that's happening in the area. As you can see, it looks massive. Like it's crazy. Like being right here, looking all the way over there, it's, it's pretty far. So I could imagine just how cool it would be to be part of one of those events in person. And uh, I want to get closer because the pavilion itself, I don't know if you can see from over there, but it has some pretty cool and interesting like bends and warps. Uh, it reminds me of the Opera House in, in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I've never been there, but I'm guessing that they're kind of like inspired on that or in some kind of way. But uh, we can go check it out and see how it looks up close. Okay, I think that looks a little better, right? But you can see like the geometry or like chaotic energy that this place gives you. Uh, it's pretty cool. And, and I think if we could get closer, it'd be great for a photo opportunity. And with that, I think I've shown you all the different places here in Millennium Park that I wanted to show you. Um, right now, I would like to go back to the um, cloud gate, the bean, um, just so that I can say goodbye. See you in a bit. 
and just like that you guys we made it where everything started right in front of the cloud gate the bean right behind us it's sad that our walking tour has come to an end but i'm grateful that we got to see really cool locations here at millennium park including the bean of course if you enjoyed the video as much as i did i'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting and cool travel videos just like this one and just to remind you to always be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time Thank you.